Well, you could actually call me an addict when it comes to extreme sports, but I went out and did some shopping again for groceries. And I'm going to be quick on this because sad to say that irrespective of the people who live in ignorance and think that we are able to speak freely about any subject, boy, do you have uh, a lot to learn. I've had other videos taken down because they were against community um, guidelines. I once saw that someone had had uh, one of their posts taken down because it was against, not against community guidelines, it was actually false. It was fake information. The man had made the mistake of saying, Jesus, what was it? Jesus lives. <laughs> that was it. I was just about to say Jesus saves. Um, that used to be on a bridge in Wandsworth in the UK. And when I was a musician, we used to travel under this bridge many, many times. And it always says on the bridge, someone had, had put the graffiti, Jesus saves. Uh, eventually, somebody wrote underneath it, not on my wages he doesn't, but a little blasphemy there. The Jesus saves was, was actually taken down. Um, apparently, AI uh, doesn't have a personal relationship with Jesus like some of us Christians do. But anyway, it means that uh, when I posted a video, the title of which said, if I remember rightly, it said something like, nothing is exactly... I, said, I made the mistake of, of labeling, titling it AI. Nothing is quite what it seems. Uh, and it was taken down um, because it was against community guidelines or it was offensive or something like that. Another one that was taken down was that I had dared to feature a couple of stories that people had sent to me saying that they had had the C word. Um, I don't even want to say that because the video will be taken down. But my old mother, she never ever said that word. She never said it. She used to mime it. She used to say cancer. So nobody ever died of that. They only died of cancer. He had So, I made a mistake of putting on and posting stories where people had had some relief from... Anyway, so now I wanted to make a couple of points a little bit later, but let's look at the groceries. I actually unpacked some of it now. I got my usual um, a little pack here of 32 pesos, three or is it four tomatoes? Now, another part of living in the Philippines, on one of the smaller islands, well, I think of the whole as being a smaller island. Perhaps it's not. It does have Tagbilaran as what the big city, and Taliban is coming up in it. But I like, every morning, I like to make a drink, uh, with hot water, a little hot water, the squeezing, the juice from half a lemon, and have some cider apple, apple cider vinegar, a little spoonful of that, put that in, and in with a spoonful of honey, makes a drink that is very, very good for you. Of course, the qualities, uh, the nu nutritional qualities of a lemon are never in dispute. The... Um, the qualities, uh, the healing qualities of apple cider vinegar, uh, some people seem to say that they're not so good. I find it's a natural antibiotic. Once when I had uh, an abscess uh, on the tooth, I actually used to gargle with dilute, obviously diluted um, apple cider vinegar. And uh, when I told the dentist, she said, yes, it's a natural antibiotic. But they haven't had 
lemons in the store for a week or so now. Went today and I was able to buy six lemons. Problem with this is that it's not like buying a can of baked beans where if they run out of stock and then they come in and you buy, you can't go in and buy two dozen cans, can't go in and buy two dozen lemons, can you? Because they don't last long. Another one. Uh, this, I like to buy this for Beth as a little treat. It says 66 pesos. So 66.75. Now I actually put a ring around something here. It says seedless, let me see, seedless grapes, seedless grapes 68. And yet uh, a pack of pork bones was 102. So the difference between 68 and 102. Now 102 for that uh, pork bones means that you can make um, a healthy meal with full of protein with a good broth and you put that with a little vegetables and and rice and you have uh, a very tasty meal that's what we have often when we have dinner at home and Beth cooks she's not a cordon bleu cook and we eat very plain meals and that is a full meal often with some left over and we even feed the dog from the table terrible habit I know but we feed the dog uh, with tidbits from that uh, apart from other stuff that we give him of course so I'm looking at it now uh, I should have put the light on but it seemed that on camera the, the light was quite good so 102 for pork bones Another pack of pork bones was 110, another 112, and a larger pack, a big pack, it says, was 120. Lemons, lemons were 102. I'm trying to show you that when, when everything has to be imported, the stuff that is imported often doesn't bear any relation in terms of quality and price to the stuff that is available here. So obviously the pork bones that we buy are available here. Uh, I think Alturas has a farm where much of this uh, comes from the farm. So you've got that. So they got that and here's what those packs look like. This is one of the smaller ones but it has a lot there's a lot in there. I'm actually working out a lot more these days and I'm trying to put on a little weight. Um, but I'd, I want to try, of course, anybody who is trying to get a little bit uh, uh, on the weight side on wants to put on lean meat, lean uh, muscle, I should say. Same thing. Um, so I am actually trying to eat a little bit more meat. So you've got that. And all of the rest is much, much the same. The same kind of thing. You take a bag, take a bag from from the uh, from the little stand, and you fill it with as much meat as you want to, and then you take it up, and a lady puts it onto the weighing machine. She knows exactly what every kind of meat that is there available is is uh, costing. Um, and then she seals it with a little red band with a price on it and you take it to the desk and you pay for it. It works very well and everything is all receipted. So nobody is making any judgment calls. They're not, not like going, see there, this one was a little bit more for some reason um, and it was 130. Uh, it looks like someone is coming to talk to me. Hold on. <laughs>